How's it going YouTube? This is Wi-Fi Mary here today bring you guys some more VGC action. We are rocking out with our uh, Weavile Terrakion team that I've enjoyed using quite a bit. As you can see, we are almost in Master Ball. I feel like one or two more wins and we'll take this team to Master Ball and then at least the rest of the month will be a master ball uh looking at my opponent's team he is very tracking weak at least a little bit anyway his main guy uh being lapras and talent flame they're definitely too weak um so okay so let's see what we can do urshifu is still giving me a problem because i still don't know necessarily if it's the dark or the water but Either way, I feel like Braviary is a great lead, either either or. And Dragozo, I'm not hating on. Um, that could be a very aggressive lead if we did that. Or, I mean, we could go Flacky even. Um, the biggest thing is we need to be able to see if he's going to... I mean, he might actually lead the Sylveon because we are super Sylveon weak. Um, so I don't think, uh, unnecessarily, I honestly don't think Flacky's a bad one. And then, um, Terrakion in the back for sure. And do we, honestly, can we go all aggressive with Terrakion in the back and just bring the Weavile? I think that's the play. And we'll see what happens. Uh, so Braviary and Flacky. Just so that way um, we can get... Really and truthfully the reason I'm bringing Flacky is because if he does bring the Sylveon, Flacky is pretty, well, decently bulky. So uh, he goes ahead and leads Urshifu and Sableye. Alright. That's fine with me. Um, okay, so that's Urshifu Dark. And that's that's fine. All right, so the big play is Max Airstream and Glassy Glide the Urshifu. Just, I mean, I've been playing quite a bit of singles, and I know Urshifu plays differently. But now with singles, every Urshifu you run into is uh, Focus Sash. So, and everybody's using Urshifu. I've probably battle more Urshifus than I've ever had because I'm starting to play some singles and I gotta adapt that's one thing I have to do is learn to adapt so um yeah Sableye going for the fake out that's fine um and Wicked Bow okay that's fine um we should get a speed speed boost on our Flacky so the question is that's not focus ash okay great the speed boost will um, help Flacky next turn to outspeed the Urshifu if Urshifu did survive, but we got the Grassy Glide anyway, so that's priority. But Urshifu's down. That's I will take half my health to take, take out an Urshifu. Urshifu has been one of those a nuisance here lately for me, so I am more than happy to take him out one shot on Luke Raviari. So that's fantastic. Uh, Sableye is still out here on the field. Um, he has the potential to like use Quash. and He's really a good speed control mon. So I'm kind of curious to see what our opponent's going to bring out to maybe get supported by the Sableye. He is taking his sweet, sweet time. I mean, I guess he wasn't expecting the KO, but he brings out Comfey. Very, very interesting. Um, that almost lets me know that he has Lapras in the back. So, I think what I want to do is go ahead and maybe double into the Comfey. Because I'd much rather have Sableye Lapras versus Comfey Lapras. If that makes sense. And that Giga Drain will not do much at all. Uh, Glassy Glide plus my Max Airstream should pick up the KO. But, I mean, at this point, I don't know. Uh, interesting that the Sableye is not Prankster. Well, I guess Glassy Glide. Wouldn't that go before? Oh, I, I, it would go before. Because they're in the same priority bracket. And with my speed boost. Yeah, we would outspeed. But we do not even knock out the Comfey. That's 
That's uh, rather kind of sad, actually. Um, Sableye. He's going to go for... I mean, he can't go for Shadow Sneak because we're a normal type. So... He's going to go for that priority Giga Drain. You know what? We're going to max guard. We're going to see this coming. And we're going to glassy glide the Confei. He's going to either Giga Drain or he's going to do the Healing Kiss move or something. Draining Kiss. Um, and, I mean, honestly, he could be um, going into his own Lapras right here. But he doesn't. Okay. So, yeah, we knock out the Confei. So that's looking really, really good. Yep. Alright, so Comfy's out. So it's just Lapras and Sableye. And this is the matchup I would want versus... Because, I mean, he could have the Comfy. He could proc his own weakness policy if he has it. And I don't want to mess with that. Uh, we have Terrakion in the back. So the biggest thing is to focus on this Sableye. And I have a feeling... He's going to probably... Hit my Braviary. That's fine. More Wood Hammer. <laughs> the Sableye. Get as much damage as possible. I want that Sableye off the field. because Just because I know my Terrakion can handle a Lapras. No problem. You know? So, I am perfectly fine trading Braviary or Flacky to get a KO on his Sableye, so then we can come in with our Terrakion in close combat and win the game. Um, okay, that's fine. Go for it. Go ahead, fake out my Braviary. We'll, um... Well, honestly, we'll bring in Weavile. I have no problem with that. Weavile, come on in. Uh, interesting thing with this Weavile, it has a max HP, so he's actually rather really bulky. For a Weavile, because I always imagine Weavile with a Focus Sash because he's not bulky. But this one's actually pretty bulky. Uh, Max Residence comes out into Weavile. That was a great switch for us then. Uh, the Wood Hammer actually did quite a bit of damage too on the um, Stabilize, so that's good. Um, yeah, but Weavile is in. That's the Mon that we want right now. Because we're still trying to focus on this Lapras. The Lapras did get max residence up, so that's not too too good. But I think we're I still think we're in an okay spot. Um Yeah, uh do we I think we just want triple axle. And if it lands three times it will um pick up the KO on the Sableye, I'm pretty sure. And we'll just knock off on the Lapras. I don't want to uh, activate a weakness policy in case if Terrakion does not pick up the KO. But I am almost certain that Terrakion will pick up the KO. Max Guard, okay, that's fine. If your Lapras is doing nothing, I'm fine with that. You're tricking my Weavile and it fails. Okay, <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with that. A uh, triple axle should, like I said, pick up the KO if it's free, right? That's a bulky Sableye. Oh, my Weavile is just not doing that much damage. I mean, that's... My Weavile isn't... I don't have any attack investment in that Weavile, so that might explain why we didn't pick up the KO. But, wow. Plus, the, he has the Residence up. So, yeah, that's a thing as well. Um... I think right now I just want to protect Weavile. And Glassy Glide. Do we have Glassy Terrain? I don't think we do. Ooh. Let's have that protect on Weavile. And let's go to Info. I don't think we have Glassy Terrain. No, we do not. Okay, so... I still think Glassy Glide is the correct play. Don't want the recoil damage or anything, so that's fine. Um, maybe if we were in a best of three, knockoff would work, but this will work too. So, he uh, goes for Quash now. That's fine. If it, like I said, even if he's trying to get the KO my Flacky, I'm okay with that. Because of the Terrakion in the back. So yes, this is fine. Uh, he, can't he can't go for Quash on my Weavile. 
Oh, uh, yeah, we've all still around, though, so we, I'm going to go into Braviary. Uh, we did successfully um, stall out his Dynamax, so that's also a good thing for us. <laughs> um, okay, so Lapras is in. Let's go ahead and triple axle to save life. And... I don't want to proc a weakness policy, so let's go ahead and just do a Brave Bird into the Lapras. Quash comes out, yeah, you have to go into Braviary for that, but that's that doesn't stop our Levi from picking up the KO on you, my man. Except we hit one time, are you for real? Man, I'm just not getting lucky with this same <laughs> KO. Man, I feel like we could have totally took him out by now. Okay. Well, here we are. <clears throat> I really didn't want to bring Terrakion in until I knew Sableye was KO'd. But I guess we're in an okay spot because I can just protect this turn. Hopefully we don't miss our uh, triple axle. Hopefully we can get this KO. That's the one problem about running triple axle I've learned is that some, it can't be trusted sometimes. Sometimes it does quite a bit of damage, and then other times you just can't trust it. But we finally, finally get the KO. And so, I mean, the best part is we probably stalled out the Aurora Veil. That's what I was about to say. So, if anything, that's that's great. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and fling into our Terrakion, just to kind of showcase um, what we were actually trying to rock out with. And this Lapras should just go down pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is why Weavile is such a great mod. Uh, getting the fling, we actually crit ourselves too, but... Weavile's, the reason Weavile is a great mod is because he is super fast and we're able to get these fast flings off. Um, and give the track on the salad berry and the justified boost and it just one shots at Lapras. It one shots at Dynamax Lapras if he doesn't get Aurora Veil up. If he gets Aurora Veil up we have to kind of play around it kind of like how we did just now. Ignore the Lapras until the very end and that's usually how you beat Lapras. Um, they're usually paired up with a Confei, Clefairy. You've seen Sableye in this game. Yeah, just kind of start beating those mons because those aren't very offensive anyway. And as long as you do damage, 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 damage you, 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 you should be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and get into game number two. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys thought. We made Master Ball. That game got me into Master Ball. All right. That's awesome. So uh, the next, I mean, you guys celebrate us getting into Master Ball. Hopefully, um, this team will work for Master Ball. And then now I'll uh, try and do some grinding and try and get to high rank Master Ball. And then I'll um, try and get some battles uploaded for you guys in high rank Master Ball. But with this team. But either way, I'm s I'm happy to be in Master Ball. Actually, we're on like 6,000, so that's not too, too bad. Um, looking at my opponent's team, he's got a fairly weak Terrakion team, in my opinion. A lot of his mods don't want to go up against a Terrakion that's set up. So honestly, I don't have no problem going Weavile Terrakion. Other than that Clefairy. Ew. You know what? He's going to lead that Clefairy. I just have a feeling. So we need to find a way to knock that out first. Usually the best way to do that is Braviary and Dracovish, as weird as that sounds. And then, um, I still like Terrakion. Um, Terrakion doesn't have to be set up with Weavile. That's another thing. Um, we could just go Terrakion and Flacky. And Flacky would help us with the Prim Arena matchup. Other than that, though, he's got two fire types. I'm not loving that. Um, Draco Zolt could also help with the Prima Arena matchup. It's just... So, let's go ahead and do Draco Zolt. He'll have some power. He's not necessarily my Dynamax mod in this game. I'm looking more at Braviary as Dynamax mod. 
But we'll see what the situation calls for. Because if he leads that cliff ferry, I want that thing off the field as fast as possible. And doubling into it with Braviary Dracovish is probably the best way to go. Um, let's just see. I can't le read this Japanese. He actually goes Draco Zolt and Talonflame. Which is a uh, instant Tailwind. He's going to Dynamax his... Um, Draco's out for sure, and probably go right into Braviary. So, we're actually going to max guard our Braviary, and I'm going to try and go for Vicious Rin into the Talon Flame, but just go ahead and knock him out. Um, other than that, we'll um, see what Draco's out wants to do. I think he's going to try and go for a max lightning into my Braviary, so that's kind of why we're going ahead and going for max guard and i think we can survive an a, a max lightning if our braviary is at full health so um from the dracos i think but at the same time this is a powerful mod he could just one shot us so we'll find out i think it's been a long long time since i've trained this braviary so i believe he can but I'll have faith in my Braviary. That's the biggest thing. You know, you gotta just believe in your Braviary. And, okay, like I said, though, everything's pretty much as if I said it. Um, Max Lightning actually goes into Dracovish. Ew, that's not good. Ooh, good play. That really sucks. Because I was really wanting to get some big, big pressure on that talent flame. That really sucks. Okay, okay. It's not over. It shows that it's life orb. And we can honestly... I think right now we're just wanting to play the game of kill the town flame and worry about the Draco Zolt late game at this point. So, um... Yeah, let's go for a max airstream. And a, I mean, honestly, we could go for a Dragon Rush. Not in love with it, in fact, but sometimes you gotta risk it. Sometimes you gotta risk it. I mean, this probably do a lot of damage if it connects to the fact that it probably could have, it could potentially KO, so it's worth going for. Uh, Max Lightning comes out, Braviary, I, I believe in you. Oh. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, game two is not going my way at all, guys. Master Ball is going to be a tough, tough tier. Come on, Draco Zone. You got to land. Oh. Oh, wow. Don't ignore the Draco Zone. That's a 75 accuracy before Hustle, by the way. So that is pretty much, it feels like it's a 50-50. And we landed it. <laughs> Wow, and we are muscle band, and we we do a lot of damage. I like that. Um, oh wow, <laughs> that's awesome. But we're still in a rough spot because um, of that intimidate, pretty much. Plus, we haven't done no damage to that tunnel flame, and they got two more turns of tailwind. Terrakion is. So I think right now we just need a double protect. That will um, kind of tell us what we need to know information wise. He's actually switching back out. Ooh man, that means he's got Intimidate for another turn later at least. At least one more turn of Intimidate and that really sucks. Uh, let's see what Talonflame wants to do. He probably wants a Brave Bird into my Terrakion. <sighs> <laughs> Let's see. So, um, I think Rock Slide's definitely to play. Actually, let's go close combat. We're just gonna do our best to take out that Pharaoh Form. Let's see if Boat Beat will connect. We're probably risking our luck with uh, Draco's up not being Dynamax, but we're, we're, we're relying a little bit on our Draco's up right now. To land its boat beak. 
close combat will come out. Hopefully it KOs the uh, Pharaoh Horn. It does. Even at minus one, we hit like a truck. And now we're hoping for this Bolt Beat to come out. We are taking a lot of health, by the way. We're down to 30 HP with our track. Yeah, actually, 14 because of my life orb. Bolt Beat does connect. So we're in a one versus two situation and I honestly feel like Terrakion at minus two still can do quite a bit of damage and he's got to pick which one he wants to try and KO honestly Terrakion will probably faint due to life orb though so really and truthfully if he but can he actually touch Draco's ult that's another big thing um do we go for rock slide or I think you go for close combat at this point and then um boat beat I mean honestly I don't feel like we should have won this game but somehow some way we're in it he actually goes for will o wisp which is a smart play but we're in electric terrain so our boat beats still gonna be doing quite a bit of damage by the way close combat will come out does half so as long as Drago's out can do half with his boat beat if we can land it too I feel like if we land it, we win. So it's all up to Draco's ult, guys. We do miss. But that's honestly... Okay, because as... Oh, the electric train does disappear, though. So... Whew. Alright, Draco's ult. Can you be MVP? Can you... Can you get the KO on this Arcanine? Because I don't feel like this Arcanine has much for you. I don't think he can hit you that hard. I think he's probably got Heat Wave or Flamethrower. You know, most of Arcanine's moves don't do much damage against dragons. I mean, he could have play rough. Don't get me wrong, but with him running Will-O-Wisp makes me think he's more of a support Arcanine. So we'll just have to see what happens. But he doesn't have a Citrus Berry. That was That's actually pretty interesting. He is stalling out our... Um, oh are our um, attacks um, I guess he's trying to burn stall which I don't think that's very effective but at the same time I don't th like I said he don't have much he's heat waving we resist that we take it pretty well let's go for that boat beat we land how much damage are we talking ooh that's not oh he has the big boy berry he didn't have the citrus berry okay so he actually heals from that Quite a bit of damage. The biggest thing is we got boat beat, or we can go dragon rush. I think that's the play. I mean, <laughs> at this point, just start trying to hit those dragon rushes. I can honestly see a protect here, just so he's burn stalling. But at the same time, if we can get a crit, land our dragon rush and get a crit. We're, we would win. So, I mean, I'm not giving up on this game because I feel like we're definitely in a winning situation as much as our opponent is. At this point, it's 50-50. So, we're just going to kind of let it play out. So, let's see what happens. Da -da -da -da. But, like I said, I shouldn't even be in the situation. Draco's out just carried us. Uh, heat wave will come out. That's putting us pretty low, boys. Dragon Rush. We do land. So that's awesome. And we still don't do that much damage. So, um... Right here's a easy protect from our opponent. Easy protect. And, I mean... At the same time, our opponent can miss a Heat Wave. So, um... I like Heat Wave, though, on Arcanine. It's a nice little attack, especially when Ferroform was running around. Heat Wave was really, really nice. We can go for Aerial Ace. I wonder if it has a high crit ratio. I don't think it does. I just, it just doesn't miss. So, but it's not stab, and our stab 100 base power with our hustle wasn't doing that much damage. I doubt our, um, yeah, we lost, but. I doubt our area ace would be do, doing that much damage to you know so uh good game uh sometimes that's what happens um we did take it down to a 1v1 it was a little stally um but hey can't complain too bad uh i feel like we can do uh one more battle 
since we're in Master Ball, we're supposed to win, alright? So, um, first game of Master Ball, we actually lose, so that's not how I scripted this video, for sure. So, we definitely need to try and win this next one, so I can kind of redeem myself. But either way, uh, if you guys are enjoying this video, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe think about hitting that like button. And, um, yeah, let's go up against this Lapras Confei team again. Similar, anyway. To, uh, uh, the first battle we did. Um, hmm. Okay, okay. So, yeah, I'm definitely bringing Terrakion. And he doesn't have any Follow Me users. So, honestly, I don't have no problem going Weavile Terrakion. Because I don't feel like he can necessarily stop that lead all that well. Show me that you can stop it. That, that That's how you do it. Show me that you can stop it. Um... I mean, he does have the Talon Flame, but I'm not too, too worried from the Talon Flame Savage to Terrakion on turn one. Um, the idea is to actually Dynamax Terrakion in this game. Um, da -dun. I'm trying to think. Uh, let's go Flacky. And honestly, let's go Draco Zolt again. Draco Zolt's actually been doing really well here lately landing his attacks even though we're not in dynamax form um so yeah might as well ride that good luck as much as we can right dude that last game where we just one shot at his uh draco zelt though oh man dude that made me that made me feel a little good uh <laughs> i'm not gonna lie um okay so we got serena and talent flame neither well okay so Serena does kind of threaten the Terrakion, just being a powerful grass talk type. But I think we're still gonna go with our main strategy of flinging. And um, I have no problem going for a max rockfall right into the Serena. We should be faster than Serena, and we should just Oko it. That's how powerful this Terrakion is. Um, yeah, if the Serena gets an attack off. Like um, a powerful grass move, we might be screwed. But I think if they're not Dynamaxing, we're fine. Um, I'm not too, too for sure if Serena gets um, Fake Out. Hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully it does. Uh, if it does, uh, hopefully it uh, fakes out Terrakion instead of the Weavile. But at, at the same time, if it's going for Fake Out, that's not doing that much damage. So we should be fine. Talon comes out, so no fake out. I don't think it. Ha I don't think you can get fake out anyway. Power whip comes out. So I oh man, that Talon was huge. <laughs> but that's fine. We still live the attack, and now we're about to get some big damage off. So that's that makes you feel a little good that we're able to at least get some big damage off. The sad part is. Talonflame can probably easily revenge kill us, so we definitely gotta be careful with that. Uh, we could probably... how do we uh, stop the Talonflame from revenge killing us here? Really and truthfully, there's not a great way to stop it. Talonflame's just gonna be super, super fast. But we did get rid of the Serena, so that's, that's a big plus. So Comfey comes out. Alright, I'm not gonna worry too too much. I mean, they're gonna try and take out um They're gonna try and take out my Terrakion with double priority. Really and truthfully, do we let them do it? I don't think we let them necessarily take out our Terrakion. I think we actually switch our Terrakion out for Draco Zolt. And I mean, yeah, I could max guard, but really and truthfully, what will I gain from max guarding right off the bat? Uh, hopefully, I mean, this might not be a very smart switch because of the Draining Kiss, but he could be going for a Giga Drain. He's actually Dynamaxing probably the Talonflame. So, really and truthfully, I probably went a little too extreme with the Trachyon plan early on. And I really just didn't really adapt to what my opponent was going to bring. So, 
that's probably my fault. Uh, that's actually 100% my fault, but he, uh, there's the Giga Drain. Um, we should be okay if he goes for a max airstream into Trachyon slot. Yeah. So, yeah, we did make the right call, but I think we could have done a better job with our Dynamax for sure. I overlooked a lot of situation there, so, yeah, you got to learn. That That's all part of it. Live and learn. We did taunt the uh, Comfey, so that's, I don't know if that's necessarily great, but, I mean, it's what we, it's, it is what it is. Um, how many more turns of Tailwind is there? They got two more turns. I think after, um, the Dynamax of this Talonflame, that's when we really need to, um, try, or after the end of Tailwind, that's when we really need to try hard into, um, getting Terrakion back out on the field. But until then... Do we live? No. Okay. I was about to say, if we live that, we get this boat beak off, dude, we'll be in great shape. <laughs> but we didn't. So, sadly. That's alright, though. Draco's oak can go down. That's fine. Because I, I still believe that we're in an okay situation if we can get rid of this comfy. Because the town flame isn't scaring me all that much. I mean, okay, it is. But. Hmm. Do we go into track yonder? No, I think we still go into flaggy. Maybe making a mistake. But. Let's see. Does Flacky pack enough power to knock out that Comfy from that range? Honestly, I'm not gonna put my. I'm not gonna bet on that. Uh, Triple Axle, though, is so tempting to go into that Talon Flame Rift. But I think uh, we gotta go into Comfy. Um, really and truthfully, why not go ahead and fake out the Comfy as well? <clears throat> Because we're not going to be doing much of that Talon Flame until Terrakion comes back out on the field. Uh, Giga Drain does come out. Wow. Okay, so. Yeah, it's just the reason why Comfy was able to go first is because of speed brackets. If I was a real boom, I have a feeling we probably would be able to outspeed. But since I'm not, then we're I'm just a tough pickle. Alright. So here's the situation we've put our opponent in. Hopefully these plays did make a little bit of sense but we've stalled out Tailwind alright so now our opponent has two options Brave Bird my Terrakion or set another Tailwind hopefully he tries to set up another Tailwind we get a Rock Slide off and we KO the Talonflame and we KO the Comfey and that puts us in a decent spot to win <laughs> So, um, yeah, I mean, so, I mean, I really don't want him to go for the, um, for the, for either move, but I'd much rather, and then the Comfy still KOs us, dang, I mean, well, yeah, we were just so low on health, but that was our win con, for him to try and make some mistakes, but in Master Ball, you ain't gonna get those mistakes, so. Or, I mean, you will find them, but it's more than likely not. You're not going to just be able to walk across it. Uh, crit probably did not matter in the long run. A uh, great game to my opponent. Um, yeah, guys, so we made it to Master Ball, and then we got our butt handed to us. So um, let me know what you guys think about, it, about all that in the comments down below. Anyway, guys, this is Wi-Fi Merriman signing out. Peace.